you guys and welcome to the video Yeet from Yeet Crew Gaming. We're going to be making a video today about livery making in CarX. We use a program called Nomax. I'm going to show you where to get the program. It's free to download. I'm going to show you how to use it briefly and I'm going to show you what exactly you can do with this program as well because it's pretty crazy. Stay tuned for the video and check it out. All right, let's get into it. First up, what we're going to do is we're going to need the program that allows us to uh, overlay any pictures that we want. Uh, over the top of any other window. This program is called Nomax and I'll just show you how to get it now. So we want to go to Google, type in Nomax, N-O-M-A-C-S and we'll just head over to their website. It's a free program and it's quite easy to use. There are some things you need to figure out first um, and then obviously you just want to click download and that'll start downloading down the bottom. Once that is downloaded just want to head over to your files and open that up. We've already got this installed. All right, once you've got that all set up and downloaded, it'll go through a setup process with you, and then you just want to locate that program and open it up. So we've got two layouts for this program. Um, it's fairly basic to use. Any pictures you have saved will show up here, and uh, they're quite easy to access. What we're going to do is we're going to pick something fairly basic to do today just to show you uh base you know and a basic example of what you can do with this this livery maker uh so we've got a pro we've got a picture here that's quite easy to do the best place that i can recommend you get pictures from is pinterest so when you open up this program it'll come up in here with your picture um you've got a ton of different options that you can do to uh, make the process as easy as possible the most common things that I'm making liveries is uh, you want to be going down to view just over on the left here. You want to be going down to opacity down. Take note of these shortcuts as well because we will be going to a frameless version of this program soon. So that does get rid of the option to find a lot of these shortcuts as well. You've got lots of different options here. Um, you've got options to rotate the picture. Um, you can see here that we can rotate it on any angle. We'll get that back to zero. Um, you can resize it in here as well, so you can make it larger and smaller. We'll make this, you know, this sort of size here. And then the other thing that's important that uh, we want to do is we want to turn the opacity down. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be overlaying this picture on top of our Carex windowed game. I'll go through how to make Carex into a windowed game mode in a minute. But for now, what we'll do is we'll show you a few options in here. Um, so opacity down is going to make that image a little bit more see-through and we can move that around once we push f10 and make it into a frameless mode so right now we've got that image ready to go we're going to make that a little bit bigger make a tiny bit smaller there get that ready for the car we can tilt that and rotate that as i did say before and um, now what we're going to do is we're going to leave that in the background um, and we're going to open up car x so i've got a uh this is a sort of an example of what you can do I'm not very good at it so far. There are people around that are a lot better than me, like a lot better than me. Um, you've seen that at the start of the video. I'll show you a few more at the end of the video as well. But um, what we'll do in here is we want to go into settings. We want to go to graphics and we want to put this into windowed mode. So we're in full screen at the moment. We want to go into windowed mode and you can see that's put the game into a window like this. So we can move around. That's a really important step to take note of. So we're going to choose something we haven't really mucked around with too much, just as an example of, of how to do it today. Um, so we've got this one here. Now, the most important thing I think uh, to note when doing this livery style would be to uh, have Kino installed. So um, if you're not sure on how to install Kino, I'll put a link below in the description of how to join our Discord. We've got a ton of guys in there that are into Carex. Um, there'll be two links in there for two different discords. Jump in there, have a look around. We've got some links on how to get Kino, how to install Kino. We've got a ton of other mods in there and maps as well. So be sure to jump into that link and have a look. But for today, what we're going to do is we're going to do this little car. So a little tip that um, tends to make it a little bit easier. As long as you've got Kino, you can see the Kino menu popping up on the side there. We push F1. We're able to now move the car around in all different angles and it does make it a lot easier to get the car into the right position to work on. So what I'll do is I'll leave that car there. We'll go into design vinyls. We'll start a new vinyl. We'll push F1. That allows us to move our car. And the other thing we want to do is we want to get this Nomax layered over the top so we can move this around and position it into the right spot. Now what we want to do is get that locked into place. And what I'll do is I'll push Control, Alt, 
shift and B and you'll see that that has now down here locked into position. So now I'm bypassing the Nomax program and I can move CarX through that image. So that image is locked into place now. Next step would be getting that car into position and getting the car into a spot where we're happy that the livery is sitting nice and straight and even on that car. We're gonna get that car up. We're gonna go and aim it down a little bit and then we can use the WASD keys to move that car around and get it into the right spot. And we've almost got that first go, I reckon. We'll probably come just a little bit closer. All right. So the next important thing, once we find a really nice spot for this livery to go and you, you're sure that you're on the right angle, we're going to push F1 again and that'll lock that car into that position. The most important thing when you're on PC is not to touch that right stick now. So you can see here, if I touch that right stick, it's going to misalign that. So we want to keep that right stick nice and still. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to start adding livery stickers. Most common stickers that I find that people use are this line here. It's able to be resized a lot. You can change the shape of it, change the length of it. It's got a bit of a curve to it as well. And then also a square and or this one as well. This one can really be handy for doing cursive writing, custom text and fonts. And it can bend and change shape to suit a lot of different uh, a lot of different shape stickers as well. I'm going to be quiet and I'm going to do a little time lapse of me doing this very very basic keep in mind this is a very basic outline just to give you an example of what you can do i'm definitely still learning a lot about this there are some guys out there that are absolutely amazing at this livery making so um sit around i'll fast forward this and go through a time lapse and then we'll get going again afterwards and i'll show you exactly what the full potential of this program can do inside of carx also quickly i'll just note that a really easy way to do this one is to instead of going back into the list of stickers every time you can resize this and get it into the right spot, find a nice spot that it fits. And then you uh, push L2. I'm on a PlayStation 5 controller. It'll be a different button on an Xbox controller, obviously. But uh, you get that into position, push L2, and then you can see the duplicate sticker option down the bottom. And uh, you want to place that sticker where you need it, push the duplicate sticker, and then you're going to have yourself the same sticker in multiple areas, just like that. All right, you can see that we've got most of the livery all lined up. Please don't judge me on this livery. It's an absolutely terrible livery. I'm trying to rush through a livery just to explain to you how to do it and just to show you how to do it. Like I said, you're basically portraying that image that you get off Pinterest or wherever you get it from. It could be a font or it can be a picture, but try and make sure it's like a stencil drawing type picture and you just want to bring that into nomax bring it into the program make sure your car x is into a windowed mode overlay that on your car x program make that go into a locked position so that you can not move that picture and you can operate car x easily behind the scenes there you've seen me very basically go over a design what i'll do now is i'll back out of that design now you can see that design what we'll do is we'll close nomax now we don't need that anymore once you know you're finished make sure you don't close nomax before you're ready we don't need to save any of those so as you can see with the program closed and out the way we've basically uh, traced around that image that was shown on top of uh, carx there and we've traced that onto the picture it's an absolutely terrible option but what i'll do i'll treat you now i'll show you some of the guys that are absolutely awesome at this and they've got time and patience and they're not trying to rush it for a video like i am so i do apologize but check out these ones now um i hope that makes it nice and clear guys i'll leave a link below to nomax i'll leave a link below to the uh, absolutely talented orbit who's made some of these other images that i'm about to show on the bonnets of these cars as well you can have a look at them and just see how much time and effort has been put into those i did rush through this one and see how it turned out so it's all relevant to how much time and effort you put into it it's definitely not a shortcut or an easy way to do it um i don't have the skills to freehand anything there are guys out there that are absolutely amazing at that and um, props off to them but doing it this way does give you some more options to be creative if you're not able to do that freehand sort of thing so check out these images coming up next from orbit uh, he's part of dgs i'll leave the link to their discord below as well he was kind enough to give me some of these pictures um, he's an absolute legend when it comes to this sort of stuff and he's still learning as well and you can see just how skilled he is at some of these pictures.
Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you sticking around. I hope this made it clear. If you have any questions below, join our Discord. Feel free to ask questions in there. I'll leave a link below to everything you should need to get things going as well. And hopefully that's cleared up some questions for some of these people wanting to do this kind of livery on their cars and car wrecks. Easy. Thank you, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll try and make a few more videos in the future. Cheers.